Celtic versus Rangers. Omega Dad versus Omega Luke. One of the biggest rivalries on the planet, and let's just say you need to watch out for this exact oh, moment. Dad! What? What? No way! Dad, it's Celtic Rangers time. Yep. The old firm. You are manager of Celtic. A lot of people have been asking for this one. Yep, I am the manager of Rangers. Yeah. Okay, so you've already, somebody might have already seen on the page there, Dad has made an incredible sign to begin with because he has sold Leah Labada already. People are going, oh, he's your best player, Dad. Yep. What are you on about? 13.75 million. I had to create a bit of money. I needed a bit of money, and so I had to sell one of my best players. I've tried selling other players. No one was sniffing around, were they? No. So you brought in instead on a free transfer, Eden Hazard. When I seen he was free, I just thought I couldn't turn that down. Mainly the formation I wanted to try, which I'm not going to try say too much just yet. Formation I wanted to try, he fitted into it. A freebie, I'd be silly not to take him. Yep, you also brought in El Nenny on a free transfer as well. Yep. Centre midfield from Arsenal, of course. 31 years of age, that strength also in your midfield. The, also in mind for my tactics I was doing. As well as Tom Davies. I went for him as well. I just thought, well, good player. Yeah, good work for Aitzen and, yeah. and mental attributes physical. Only 25. He? Yeah. And then finally, you brought in from Birmingham a centre midfielder, which you actually spent a bit of money on, yeah. and Sunjik. Mate, I just look at this. I, I just couldn't turn that down. Could I? As soon as I've seen him, for my position, I wanted him in my head. He was the perfect fit for it. Great mental attributes, yes. indeed. So the I mean, tactic. Work rate 18. Come yeah. On. The tactic that Dad wants to run is this. It yeah. is a 4 2 3 1. Attacking. Yeah. This league is all about who's going to win the league between me and you. Yes. I think. So who's going to win the most games between me and you? Cup finals and things like that. So I'm just full out attacking to win the league before I even play you. Because we'll both drop silly points. We'll both lose silly games in this league. Yeah, against other teams that yeah. are not each other. Yeah. That's right. So I've got to try and win as many games as I possibly can and take it, take whatever I get against you. So you've got Ralston in there at right back. That's because it does change if we did deal for best 11. But best 11 looks like this. For a hashi up front, uh, we've got in Hazard, Turnbull, McGregor and El Nenny there. So you've got a good back line. Yeah. Uh, not a bad midfield because, of course, this is the current champions of Scotland. We've been using the updated database so all, yeah. of the, all the players are pretty much as you would see it and as Brendan Rodgers would have it in well, real life. Well, I did watch that first game of the season and I yeah. texted you, he's played the same formation that I was virtually playing as well <laughs> and I was chuffed a bit then. So, let's move over to what I have done in this transfer window with Rangers. Now, as you can see, I brought in one big player there, Joshua King. That's because I sold Kemar Roof. I made a little bit of money back. Uh, I did also bring in some freebies as well. So, first off was to Nzebi at centre-back. I think I could not turn that down again as a free transfer as well, worth bringing him in. We also managed to bring in Ainsley Maitland-Niles, and just because of the fact that he can play in oh, so many different what positions. A player, yeah. Absolutely. So if I ever need a player to go anywhere, Ainsley can do that for me. We've also brought in Cameron Archer on loan, and that was because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do up front until I eventually signed Joshua King from Fenerbahce, and I think this guy's perfect for this division. He is super fast. Yeah. He has acceleration and pace of 17, great off the ball, and he has that light speed, the offside trap. Perfect striker for me. Of course, he's a little bit old, but I don't mind that as much. So, my tactic, I'm going for this. It is a four triple two, but with two narrow players instead of the two wides that you're probably used to. Uh, and if I went best 11, I'm not selecting anybody. This is what the best 11 looks like. We've got Haji and Dowell in there, Danilo Pereira up front with Josh King. Maitland Niles comes in in that Volante on attack role. He'll probably fill in that center, uh, left back and right back when we need players there. That's what I'm kind of looking like going into this first season. Okay. We'll start off with my fixtures, shall Looks we? Looks good. And then we'll look at yours. Right. So, uh, because Dad won the league, I had to play some Champions League qualification fixtures. Me and I had doubled the amount of games in pre-season. Let's see. So, my first league game was a 3-0 win. Then I played against Sturm and lost 1-0. Panics. Uh, but then we beat them 7-0. <laughs> yeah. And then I got lost to Club Bruges in both fixtures. Uh, and now I'm not in that. I'm only in the, the Europa League, which we don't have the fixtures for yet. So I don't know what my group is like. Uh, Hibernian, though, a 5-1 victory against them. In the league, it was quite good, to be fair, because then in the Scottish Cup, we won 5-0 against Partick and a 5-1 away win against Aberdeen. So I've kicked things off in the league very well, Dan, oh, on well, first that looks, that looks right good, now. It? Yeah. That does look good. And that is because in your fixtures, let's take a look, you also won all four of your games. Yeah. Uh, but you just didn't didn't do it by as much. But we have each other in the next I've game. I've only conceded one goal, though. Yeah. 
That's true. And we're both through in the cups because remember, the cups in Scotland, there's two cups. Very much like England, there's a League Cup and an FA Cup version. That if you uh, if you take a look at the the fixtures, they've got Scottish Cup and Viva Scottish League Cup. Scottish Cup's more like the FA Cup version. You're in the Champions League. Your Champions League group is Roma, Ajax, and Club Bruges, the team that knocked me out. Yeah. But because we are now doing the point system, this is how we're gonna do it. So we're keeping it exactly how it is. One point if we play against each other and we win that fixture. One point also if you finish higher in the league against each other. But I don't think that's going to matter too much, Dad, because it's no. three points if you win a league and you don't get that extra point. So I think one of us is probably going to win the league each season. Yeah. I don't think that's going to come into play today. It is, however, two points for winning a domestic cup. And there's two cups to be won. So that's yeah. four points in total plus... Majority of the time, we're probably going to play against each other at some point. <laughs> yeah. So that's probably right, it, going to be it's three probably points. Going to be four games, isn't it? Yes, two. It's four league games. I think they play each other, don't they? Yeah. So and then, of course, the, whenever you come up against, against each other well, yeah. in the cups, oh. then of course that league, of course, like I mentioned, the to win the Cinch Premiership is going to be three points. If we win a European trophy, that's four points. And of course, the Champions League. If somebody manages to win the Champions League, I mean, you deserve to win the whole thing out, outright. Oh, yeah. But six points in total. Now, there's a lot of people who were saying in the last one, I don't think you should have the four points for Europa League, etc. This is the reason why we're having four points for Europa League, because if... If a team from Celtic or Rangers win the Europa League, that's a much bigger deal yeah. than winning the league. So yeah. that's why European Trophy today is four points. Yeah. It makes sense for it to be that way. Because of the new point system, it makes it very interesting to see who wins each season. That's where the battle is going to be. Yeah. So, without further ado, Dad, shall we simulate this first season? <laughs> Let's go for it. See who gets the Come head on. start. First season and Dad has took an early lead. Yes. So that's three points, three points for Dad straight away. Only by three points. Oh. You only lost one game. And what against, against you? <laughs> against Hearts. I only lost two games. And I lost one against you one. Yes. So that's four points that you've that managed game, to pick up already. That game won me the league. That did win you the league. <laughs> Three points, 111 goals to 102. We've done exceptionally well there yeah. to, to finish. I mean, the, the closest to us, 54 points. I almost doubled that. Yeah. You did double that. So that's exceptional. On the profile, for Hashi got the most goals across the season, but Josh King was right behind with 29. The Sirs also got 21. Josh King had the highest average reign. Eden Hazard had 21 assists. I told you I brought, him in for that. I brought him in for that role. Yeah, I mean, for Hashi, I did not expect him to be that good. Strength for four, so you could... You know, sneeze and he'd he's, fall over he's next gonna, to you. He's, he's going to have five chances. He's going to put three away. Yeah. I'll take that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, you have won this league title. Yes. Fair play to you. But it's all about the Cups. Now we're on Rangers. So, this is how I have done in the Cups. So, I really need to win some Cups here. Right. Oh, no. I've won nothing. I have Knocked won nothing. Knocked out the semi-final by Celtic. Knocked out the semi-final by Celtic. Oh, it's another two points. <laughs> Not to mention, if you actually win those two cups, oh, come on, you've done that. I got to the quarterfinal of Europa League, so obviously we knew I knocked. I was knocked out the Champions League in the quarterfinal. I was knocked out by Batiste. Did I play in the round of 16 against Ludogorets? Uh, knockout playoff round. I beat Leipzig in that. So that ain't sure. bad. Yeah, uh, and that is because in the group stages. Uh, I was second in behind Pauk. All right, fair enough. Let's take a look at Dad's then. We know he's already knocked me out. I need you to lose the finals, ideally. So, how did you get on in the Cups? Oh, you won both of them. <laughs> Round of 60 in the Champions League. You got in the Scottish Cup, you won 3-0 against Livingston. And the League Cup, 3-0 against Motherwell. Yes. You absolutely... The treble. Yeah. First season, get it. Destroyed and dominated this first season. Fair play to you. Round of 16 against Inter Milan. It was a close one as well. 4-3. Oh. In the round of 16, uh, your group stage... Fair enough, you knocked out Ajax in the group. Yeah. Uh, you won three games in your group stage. You beat Club Rouge twice and Roma at home. Ooh, you beat result. Jose Mourinho's team at home. So, your total points, Dad, is 10 for this season. Omega Luke's total points... Uh -uh. Zero. <laughs> Get in. Zero points. I have not beaten you in any games. I've won nothing. You've won two cups. You've defeated me in both of those cups. And you beat me in the league once. And you won the league. That's 10 points. Fair play. Okay. Your goals, Tally. For hash, you got 47. 27 goals and 29 assists from Eden Hazard. What a free 33. Sign, 
What a signing that was, eh? Unbelievable. Maeda, your backup striker slash winger, got 23 goals. And this guy's attributes always cracks me up because he's just super fast, but he has terrible technicals. <laughs> but other than that, he's quite good, to be fair. Turnbull also got 19 goals and 11 assists, which is not bad at all. Let's have a look at what I've got then. So I've got 37 goals from Josh King, 37 games. I'm happy with that. Yeah. 31 from Desers, which is not bad at all. And Danilo Pereira, my third striker, got 18. Uh, Assist-wise, not bad. James Tavernier got 22, 15 from... From Haji. Now, my transfer budget, £10 million. It's not a lot. Uh, your transfer budget is £20 million. Ooh. So you've got double the amount already, <laughs> but that's probably because of Champions League football yeah. in that season. All right. Okay. Second season then. Let's see what we have done in the transfer market. Kicking things off in the second season, I sold Sam Lammers for £8.75 million to PSV. That allowed me to have a little bit more of a transfer budget and I spent quite well. Cameron Humphreys comes in from Ipswich Town. £4.7 million. A good centre midfielder. Only young as well. 20 years of age with a fantastic potential yeah. good work rates good stamina natural fitness etc now i also sold another two million pounds worth of players here with matondo being the most at 2.3 after a certain amount but i brought in a load of free transfers alan campbell from luton scottish centre midfielder again i have a change of what i would like to do so i'm bringing in a lot of central midfielders and then nathan baxter i felt like i needed a better goalkeeper nathan baxter on a free transfer that's my goalkeeper set for the rest of the rebuild that's unbelievable 25 years of age six foot three happy days gustavo hamer again from the championship yeah. coventry very good center midfielder 27 free transfer can't argue with that. Then we've got a right back here from Norgeland. Good right back as well. You can also play right midfield should we have a right midfielder. But he's quite well rounded to be fair. Good defender. 22 years of age. Again, young for a free transfer. And he's already worth like 8 to 9 million pound. Happy days. This is my favourite signing though, Dad. The Beast. Keenan Davis. 6 foot 3. 26 years of age. He is a powerhouse. Yeah. 17 strength. Great jump and reach and pace. Good off the ball and teamwork. Yeah, he's a beast. I like that one a lot. Yeah. Uh, so bringing him in on a free transfer, can't argue with that. And then a lot of a lot of football manager players will remember Ryan Gold as a as a former wonder kid on Football Manager. I've brought him in when he used to be at Dundee. He was incredible. I brought him in for five point seven five million pound from Vancouver. Welcome back to the Scottish leagues. He's got two assists in four appearances so far. So that's how I have. That's who I've brought in. Before I show you my tactic, let's have a look at Dad's then. So Dad has sold a little bit more players, yeah. but he has brought in a lot. So, <laughs> Matthias Arezzo, speaking of former Wonder Kids. Yeah, I went for this guy. I'm, I'm just thinking I need another striker that can give me 10, 15 goals, even if he comes off the bench. Yeah. And a bit of competition for the other, the other guy. Absolutely. Four million pound. Yeah. Not a bad deal. He's got two goals for you already in four appearances. Then, yeah. uh, you then also brought in another striker in Marcus Leonardo and spent a little bit more money on him. Well, it's finishing 16. It's acceleration 16. I just thought oh, I just couldn't afford to turn this boy down. Never. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to play an attack inside. I want, in case I get injuries and all that, I just want good players to be there as well. Yeah. This and he's league, young with a lot of potential. Yeah, this league is all about winning the game. So I've got to be winning games. So you can't win a game unless you score a goal, mate. No, absolutely. And then you you brought in Mandy at centre back. Yeah, I wanted to strengthen up my, my centre uh, back place. You know, we defence. I know he was 32, but look at the stats on him. I just couldn't afford to turn that down. Five million pound from Villarreal. Yeah. And then finally, a couple of players here. One free transfer, which is Marek Rodak, goalkeeper. I wanted to improve my goalkeeper. Yeah, you didn't like Joe and Hart, did you? No, I, I no. <laughs> From when he, when Man City got rid of him, well, his, his career just gone right down. And, yeah. and when he come to Spurs, off, oh no, what are you doing? So this guy's in, and I'm the same as you. That's my that's my goalkeeper for the rest of the seasons. Okay, and then Nathan Phillips from Liverpool. Never centre back. I want to in, so I'm strengthening my squad, my forward line now talks for itself, and I'm just strengthening my defence up now. Yeah. Okay. So tactically, you have actually changed it. Yeah. Even well, though you won the treble, you know people are going to have a go at you oh if this no, backfires. I, I just looked at it and I thought, well, the strikers that I've bought, surely I should be playing now. Two strikers. All right. Okay. I've got two, you know, I've got three or four good strikers. Why shouldn't I be playing two then? So you've got four of Hashu is a pressing forward yeah. master. He's got good aggression, good pace, teamwork and work rate and everything. You've also got Marcus Leonardo who now plays up top. Yeah. Hazard and Maeda on the wings. El Nenny and McGregor in midfield. Carter Vickers start felt at the back still with Rodak yeah. in goal. Okay. On to my tactic then. I have changed it as well. I've gone to a narrow diamond formation with a target forward because big Keenan Davis is a monster and I need 
need somebody up there to be a brute force. We've got Shadow Striker, which can be perfect for Ryan Gold or Haji, to be fair. Both of them are fantastic in that role. If I was to do the best 11 quick pick, it would look like this. Uh, so a lot of centre midfielders, as, as I mentioned. I'm quite surprised Tu and Xavier goes in as the best centre defence midfielder, but I don't want to nail anybody in because we've discovered, haven't we? We play a lot of games of football, so when as soon as you put somebody in a position, yeah. if they they might be overplayed and be just, just you just tire them out and knacker them out. So I'm happy to just let the assistant manager pick whoever wants to play or whoever can play in that position. But that's the tactic I'm looking at. So let's take a look at my schedule first because once again. I need to play Champions League football and I need to go through qualification. Let's see how I've done. So I beat Livingston 3-0. Partizan was my first Champions League tie. 4-0 and 2 all meant I went through against Sporting, who I was never going to be able to defeat. <laughs> lost 2-0 and lost 4-1, unfortunately. But back in the league, I then beat Aberdeen again, 4-1. And Ross County... 6-1. Very good. In the League Cup, I also won 2-0 against St. Mirren. Yeah, and yeah. we've played another game in September because the transfer window was only just closed. 2-0 against Hibernian. That was a good result You're for me. You're banging them in now, aren't you? Yeah. So I'm in a Europa League group. It is the big group stage. Uh, so we can take a look at my fixtures now for that Europa League. And I've got Inter Milan, Batiste, Heistuck Split, Antwerp, Slavia Prague, Ludogorets, Besiktas and Karabag. Dad, your fixtures. You've done all right, but you have dropped points already against Hearts. Motherwell was a 5-4 win. It was a tricky one, but you yeah. managed to come out winners. Ross County away 3-0. Then you lost to Hearts. Oh, it's just silly. Then I'm banging five then again. Then you bang five, five again. Yeah. Against so I'm scoring the goals. I'm just hoping that's a one-off, that one against Hearts. Absolutely. Uh, so your Champions League fixtures look like this. You've got Victoria Paulsen, oh. AC Milan and Bayern Munich, <laughs> Villarreal, Bodo Glimt, Sporting, Sporting Liverpool. Liverpool and Shakhtar no. at the end. Don't know. Do you reckon we're going to qualify for that? No. No. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> and there's no dropping into Europa League no, anymore. That's, that's that the, could be me done, gonna... the downside of it. How right. many home games have I got out of that? One, two, three, four. Um, I've got to win my, all my home games. Well, you're always going to have four and four, isn't yeah. it? Because it's eight. You get eight. So, so you really, the, the home, one that away. could do me is the Bayern game, I think. If I win that game at home, I could qualify. Yeah. If you beat Bayern Munich at home, you'll qualify. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Let's simulate this second season Anybody then. Anybody would think they've got someone like Harry Kane playing for yeah, them. Yeah, well, I don't think they have on this because we started it before <laughs> we had the updated database. Harry Kane was still a Spurs player at this point, but they still have an incredible side that I don't think you've got better players. But no. hey, you've got Eden Hazard. Yeah. So Come he's 34. On. He can't even run anymore, but you, you still got him. Second season, let's simulate because I've got a 10 0 deficit that I need to recover from. Second season, and I've pulled it back. That's a league win. You haven't just pulled it back, mate. You've oh, just destroyed it. You've slaughtered me. Come on, 16 points, I think that is, ahead of you. In the league table, fantastic stuff. I lost 10 games. You lost 10 games. I need to be in there somehow. Oh, no, that ain't so, good, is it? I lost four games. One of them was against you. Oh, so that's one point you've already clawed back right there from the three points that I have won from winning the league. But 10 points, and I beat you twice. twice. Oh. Come on. So that's another two points. That's five points in total for me. One point for you so far. Keenan Davis, the monster. 34 goals this season. Highest average. What an average rating as well. Yeah, definitely. An 8.03 yeah. average rating. And Yanis Hadji's also got the most assists, beating out Eden Hazard and Ryan Gold, who both had 14. Matt Latches was 15 with Keenan Davis. I had an exceptional time with him up front. One league and goal scorers was, was, was for Hashi. Well... No, you've got Marcus Leonardo. And remember, you did change his role, but you have a there on 23. Yeah, but I, so thought he's, I thought you would have been in second. At he's least. probably been playing the majority of the games because he also has high aggression, yeah. probably. He has right. started 19 games and played 23 off the bench. So, we are on Rangers right now. If we take a look at competitions, if I win a couple of more, if I win a couple of cups, possibly... I've won one cup, but I've often been knocked out of the other by you. Oh, good. That's another game I won. Which is the FA Cup. And it was a semi-final that put me in the final. Oh, Ooh. right. Okay, so the Viva Scottish League Cup winner. And I'll beat Hearts in the final. Did I knock you out of it, though? Yes, I did. So that's another point. So that's three points from that. So we played two semi-finals against each other, then. Yep. Oh. Then in the Scottish Cup, you defeated me four... Oh, you beat four, Falcott 4-0, four so you did win yes, that. Win you cup. defeated me in that semi-final just 1-0. So that's another three points for you on top of the other point that you had 
for winning, for winning that league fixture that you had. The only way that you can gain any more points back is if you won the Champions League, because <laughs> that's the other competition that you was in. And unfortunately, you did not win that. The final is to be played between Liverpool and PSG. But how far did you get? You did not make the round of 16 or the knockout playoff round. You were knocked out. Uh, you finished second from bottom. You won one game, which was Bodo Glimt. So if only you won that Bayern Munich game, <laughs> you might have gone through. <laughs> <laughs> in the Europa League, though, I got to the round of 16, defeated by RB Leipzig. Unfortunately, 2-1, which isn't too bad. I played... No, I didn't play in the knockout playoff round. Uh, the league phase. Oh, bloody hell. I hey, topped it. Well done. Didn't even lose a game. Drew one against Antwerp, but I won seven. So that's not bad. I beat Inter Milan at home. 2-1. You can't all beat in, you can't all beat European giants when they come across <laughs> the Scottish shores, Dad. Okay. The points tally is as follows now. For this season, Dad picked up four points for this season omega luke picked up nine points leaving the total scores being dad 14 omega luke nine still there though aren't i after two seasons five points ahead oh. but i think both seasons have shown that it can flip oh. as quickly I mean, you've just as absolutely that. mullered me that season yeah you, really so it's it all comes down to those cup games whether yeah. you play each other in the cup yeah. if you can knock each other out of the cup that's a bonus that's a yeah. brucey bonus 100%. because yeah. if you don't and you lose to somebody else i would rather be losing to an aberdeen or etc in the quarters of semis if i'm not going to be winning that cup because i don't want to give you that extra point that's right yeah so that's i mean all, was, that's what matters those semi-finals there that i won one semi-final went on and won the cup you won a semi-final against me yeah and went on and won the cup yeah so that's like you said that's worse isn't it because you're losing against you and losing the cup as there's well. a three-point swing yeah. Each time. So Keenan Davis got 44 goals in total, 21 from Desers. Not as high as what I thought it'd be considering we won the league there. I also have £14 million to spend next season. Dad, your fixtures or your, your results, sorry. 34 goals from Marcus Leonardo. For a hash, he did get 19. Yeah. He played 26, 26 games, games that he so. started. A Rezo got 29 and he only started 30. So he got way so more. So it looked like them two were just flicking between each other. Didn't they? Yeah, it does. Yeah, to yeah. be fair. Uh, in has I got 14 goals and 18 assists but he is 34 now he's starting to really struggle and decline in his physicals the transfer budget that you've got is 19 million pounds so we're quite close in terms of budget going into season it number three time, absolutely where do i go where right go? let's see what dad does in season number three so dad you sold 16 million pounds worth of players including your starting center back in yep. starfelt but yeah. i think it's actually a good deal because 8.5 million pound for a 30 year old not bad at all. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Uh, you also sold Maeda, uh, that really fast guy with terrible technicals that we mentioned about the Japanese guy to I Pumas. think I've got better in the team now. Better what he has is. So I thought, well, four and a half million, good price for him. That allowed you to spend a lot of yeah. money and also bring in a lot of players on free transfers yeah. with high wages. Let's talk about the players that you did bring in. First off, a left back, Dame Foulon. Well, Good bargain this is. In, in my mind, I've, I'm thinking to myself now, I lost a lot of games in that season. Why did I lose a lot of games? I'm conceding goals off warp. So I'm thinking now, let's strengthen my defence. So this is when it starts. 1.6 million pounds. Yeah, I thought he was good. Uh, you also then brought in a right back, Bright Asai Samuel. Yeah. Thought he was good as well. Yeah, I mean, good right back. Good, I mean, pace 18, acceleration 15. Teamwork 15. It's got it all there for me, isn't he? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. 8.5 million pounds as well. It's a lot of money, to be yeah, fair, for a right, for a right back. back. Yeah. Uh, but league, he did definitely. have the, um, the obviously, the homegrown status, being, being that he was brought up in England, which meant he didn't have like a work permit or anything like that. That's yeah. that's one trouble that we've had to we have, deal yeah. with. We've had a few players, we've gone for players yeah. who could not get work permits. Or they're asking you to pay an extra few million to, to get Yeah, for the, for the work permit. <laughs> yeah. James Gomez from Manchester City, which was yeah. a transfer listed centre back that you found. I couldn't believe there should I I mean yeah you've got stats on this one as well I thought well there's another centre back you know strengthen the strength for me defence up I'm happy with that yeah with that and then the free transfers which you're gonna turn That's around right. and go how the hell has he pulled that off oh, no. <laughs> well I couldn't believe it could I when when they started coming up so you got a backup goalkeeper yeah, I wanted a reserve one. keeper it was a little bit better than the reserve keeper I had I think the one I got in there is a really young lad so yeah. I've got two well experienced goalkeepers in there then Rob holding at centre back from Arsenal well, just talks for itself doesn't it really the run continues yeah. and then buying Arsenal players <laughs> <laughs> and nobody from Spurs. Yeah, but when I see 
seen him come up for a free beat, I thought, oh, I can't turn that down. I went on to his stats and I thought, I want to strengthen my defence up. All right, he was he's 29, is he? That's still good for a, a centre defender. So, yeah, yeah, I'm having him. Not bad at all. Yeah. Donny van der Beek from Manchester United. That's a great yeah, sign for I couldn't believe league. this when this one came up for a free beat as well. He's phenomenal. Look at, oh, look at the stats on that as well. And that, I thought, well, that just strengthens my, def- my midfield, especially the, right in the centre where he plays as well. Yeah. Thought, yeah, I want to go for that as well. 96 grand a week, but it's yeah. probably worth it. But this is the sign in that oh, I man. could not I'll, believe. I bet you couldn't believe I, I bought bet it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, finishing 16, strength 15. I mean, it's all there. It's a pace, Premier 15. League striker. Teamwork 15, work rate 15, and I've got him for nothing. Yeah. Come on, I'd be silly not to turn him down. I know I said my defense, my my attacking was world class, but this just takes it even further. Yeah, he's played two seasons in the Championship as yeah. well. So I mean, nobody's come in for him yet. It's, it's quite weird to be fair. And he decided to leave, and he's gone to Celtic. Fair enough. No goal so far though. That's a bit worrying, isn't it? But, oh, oh, Ivan Tony, what's <laughs> going on here then, my friend? Uh, so that's a very good transfer window. I think I've strengthened my team. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Tactically, you've gone for this. Yeah. Which is the four-three-three, but with very high fullbacks. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to, to nail the defence and not concede so many goals and then just rely on the, the break it. And, and hopefully with the players that I've got up in that forward part of the field I've gone back to one striker again Yeah. and hopefully they will supply them from the wings that we did in the first season so I've tried to nail the defence up but still, still take people on the break. Your your strikers, or you're going into that, is your striker option is Marcus Leonardo. Yeah, I was a bit surprised with that. Technically your best 11. Yeah, I was surprised with that. But for a hashi from the left. Yeah. So I think Ivan Tony will probably play quite a lot of games. And yeah. You might see Marcus Leonardo drop over yeah. here because he hasn't actually played that well, Ivan Tony. So maybe that's what the assistant is going off the back yeah, of that. That's right, yeah. But knowing Hazard either, he's dropped down to the no, bench. No, I think he's um, I think he's just got to that age now where he's, um, he's struggling he'd be a, a little good, bit. He'd be good for a, to come on the last 20 minutes to try and get a yeah. result with something like that absolutely let's take a look then before we look at Dan's fixtures on the signings that I brought in on the transfer so I sold 19 million pounds worth of players here Leon King 6.5 million pounds 11 million for Axel Tuanzebi who I got on a free transfer in that first season unbelievable stuff another player going for 2.1 million pounds and yet I still brought in a player here too Kelvin Yaboa. What a player. I love this striker. <laughs> he is fantastic. 25 years of age, 7.75 million pounds. He's got a goal so far only in four games, but he has good acceleration and pace. Good off the ball. Likes to beat the offside trap. Doesn't have the best technicals, but I still like him anyway. We also have brought in 18 million pounds worth of player, and I also picked up a couple of really good signings from free transfers. I got myself an Ethan Laird, who plays in both fullback positions really That's well. Good, yeah. Alex Scott, couldn't believe nobody else was going in for him in midfield. That's the, the sign-in that I was quite surprised with in this summer. He also had been playing the championship. Uh, Tommy St. Jago, which was a, a sign-in for a centre-back. I think I needed to pick up another centre-back because Connor Goldson's getting of age now where I need to think about replacing him. Florin, F- Florin Balogun, sorry. Free transfer from Arsenal. He's injured at the start of the season. But one, go- one game, three goals so far before he actually got himself injured. Thank Great start. <laughs> hopefully Alejandro, he, hopefully yeah. broke a leg in his yeah. the season. <laughs> Alejandro Francis, another good centre-back. You can also play right back. Fantastic option. I spent a little bit of money on him, though. £6.25 million. And when we were in this league, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Gianluca Busio from Venezia is another guy that I've brought in. 23 years of age. Can play in all of the different midfield options. When I'm playing that diamond role, I need players who can play in all three for variety for when somebody gets themselves injured. That is what I'm looking like right now. My tactic, sticking with how it was because obviously I won the league with it so I'm not going to change too much of it. Keenan Davis and Balogun up front and now I've got the likes of Kelvin Yaboa coming off the bench. I can't complain too much with that. That's exceptional. Ryan Gold, Busio, Scott, Hammer. I think my midfield is incredible now. I'm just a little bit about my defence. I'm like, I've brought in two really good centre-backs. I don't know whether they're like, they're the best centre-backs in the league though. I still think you might have one of the best centre-backs in the league. Uh, so I might be struggling at the back there. But yeah, I think going forward, we've both got two exceptional teams right now. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at my schedule first. Actually, no, it's called Dad's because he's got to go into the Champions League qualification. How has he done? He has managed to do it. And he beat the team that knocked me out last year. Get in. 3-0 away from home and 1-0 against Sporting after knocking out PSV on penalties as well. You will notice we have played each other already. I've just seen that now. I'm looking down and thinking, I haven't conceded any goals here and then I'll see yours. One point already. Oh, no. For Omega Luke. Let's chalk that one up. Falkirk, though, your first game of the season, 4-0. You got Hearts, 1-0. Livingston in the League Cup, 4-0. St. Johnston, 
2-0. Not a bad start. Well, I'm, to be honest with you, apart from your game, which I would be disappointed with, I'm quite happy with that, really, yeah. because I strengthened me, me, my defence and we haven't conceded goals. Yeah. Or I've conceded a goal, but it was only one goal against you, and mm -hmm. it was at your place as well. Yeah. So I'm happy with that. All right, let's take a look then. Now, of course, I picked up that win, but I haven't dropped any other points. Talking about not I conceding goals. I haven't conceded a goal. <laughs> 1-0 <laughs> against Livingston, 1-0 against Ross County. I was again a little bit worried at that point. Queen's Park 2-0, but then I stuffed Aberdeen 6-0. Keenan Davis got two for him. Balogun got, uh, got his hat-trick in the one game And to be honest, you really, we, we look at Aberdeen as one of the teams that can cost us points. Them and Hibs yeah. are the are the two that I consider to be the difficult games, yeah, difficult definitely, fixtures yeah. at the minute. I think more, Hibs more than Aberdeen at the minute, to be fair. But yeah, that's what we're looking like right now. We haven't been given the Champions League fixtures, so we don't know what that is, but we are both playing in the Champions League going into this season remember dad is slightly ahead of me right now by about four points so that point already matters that <laughs> narrows it down to about three third season come on let's see what happens third season come on let's go <laughs> 17 point win again oh you love to see it 96 points to 79 you lost two at the end of the season there which no, but i've lost nine games that's where i've lost it not bad i lost four games one of them was against Ooh. you so you did pick up one point there however you lost nine games and there's two wins there for me. Come on, let's go. Oh, dear. Oh dear. So, how have we done? Is that all of the games there? So, we can just count that one, two, three, four, five, six. So, you might have lost against me more. We'll have to check that. The profile, though, Ivan Tony got 41 goals. I mean, he didn't get he any. Won't... He wouldn't start. He wouldn't start. He didn't start the season, did he? Oh, well, he didn't get any goals in four games. So he wouldn't start him. He ended up with 41 goals. Keenan Davis got 22 as well as Balogun getting 22. Keenan Davis had the highest average rating. You had the highest amount of assists alongside Haji. But yeah, absolutely stuffed with Ivan Tony getting 41 goals in 12 man of matches. Uh, my keeper had the most man of the matches by six was that to Aberdeen's. You're still conceding a lot of goals, Dad. Yeah. I think you went way too attacking there because you only got 14 clean sheets. Well, I thought I, I thought I brought more players in the defence to bring into. Yeah, but you had your complete wing backs. Yeah, They're no. going forward. That's yeah. going to cost you, and I should not be giving you any tips. <laughs> we are currently on Rangers. So, how have I done in the cups? Come on, two cups as well. That is complete annihilation, domination. That is a domestic treble. Just like your first season, Dad, I've done it in season oh, number three. You didn't beat me in the semis or anything like that. Scott, let's go in the League Cup first. Oh, no. Ross County. Ross oh. County in the semi final. Aberdeen, where were you? You were knocked out ages ago by Ross County, so I didn't knock you out. On penalties That's as well. That's really disappointing. Uh, the Scottish Cup, though, I'd love to have beaten you in the final in that one. Oh, God. No. Three, two, ninety-third <gasps> minute. Yeah. Kelvin Yaboa, and you were one nil up, two nil up, <sighs> and I pulled it back to two all and scored in the ninety-third minute. Happy days, Hamden Park. You're welcome. Ninety-third <laughs> minute, Kelvin Yaboa. You absolute beauty. Two nil up and a final. I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable stuff. That is class. Right, okay. Uh, how did I do? Knockout playoff round against Ajax. That's disappointing. But at least I qualified for that, I guess. 6-5. Oh, no. That's a shame. 95th minute. Well, there's my comeback. There's, yeah. the, there's the car mafia. Uh, I <laughs> lost in the 95th minute to a Valt Vecorce girl. Okay, fair enough. What about... You're not there. I was which just thinking means that. round of 16? No. League face. You, oh, you were knocked out of the league phase by a point. You lost four games. Barcelona, Fenerbahce, Benfica and Florentina. You drew against Milan and Malmo. Oh, that Malmo cost me then, didn't it? You beat Bayern Munich at home 5-0. Hey, 5-0. <laughs> Get in. If only I can beat Bayern Munich, he said. <laughs> he did it the season after. You still didn't qualify. Stuffed them. But you beat him 5-0. Oh, what a night dear. to remember. Uh, I finished in 10th. I won five games. <laughs> Beat Real Madrid at home. 2-0. Uh, Porto 2-1. Gotta win your home games, Dad. You're yeah. bloody right, because I won four of them there. Look, I didn't lose a home game. I only lost to Ajax away, Benfica away, and Chelsea away. But that is a great season. So, we already know how you got on the Cups, because you didn't win any. You were runners-up in one. Quarter-final in the other. Knocked out the league phase. Not a good season for you whatsoever. No. You did have 56 goals from Ivan Tony, Get though. In. 24 from Marcus Leonardo and Furuhashi has a high amount there too. And you have £14 million next season to spend. I've got to make it. I've got to make it I have just 
10 million, which is a bit annoying. Don't know why. <laughs> 39 goals from Keenan Davis, 29 from Balogun, 17 from Kelvin Yaboa, which leads our total for this season points wise. Omega Luke 11, Dad 1. Which gives us a total tally of 15 points for Omega Dad and 20 points for Omega Luke, which means I'm now five points clear after being 10 nil down in that first season. Two really bad seasons tonight. Really bad seasons, Dad. You are correct. Right, on to the fourth season. Dad, you might be pleased to know that Keenan Davis is now a Chelsea player. Yes. I could not turn that one down. <laughs> uh, he wanted to leave. I got 30 million out of him. Yeah, it was good, yeah. He had a couple of really good seasons for me. He was a brick powerhouse that first season. I'll never forget you, Keenan Davis. That was incredible. And it led to me having a lot of money, let me tell you. And I had too much money to know what to do with. And I spent that much money on one player. Actually, I spent more than that on one player. I only brought in two players in total. One was Fagioli, which was a centre midfielder that I got on a free transfer. That's a good signing, oh, I think. 25 years old. What a free transfer that is. Free transfer from Juventus. And then I brought in Jorgen Strand Larsen for £35 million. <laughs> Because I was trying to find a player who was similar to Keenan Davis. I mean, his, his finishing is 16. Yeah, heading 15. He's stronger. He's got 17 for strength. Good off the ball. Good yeah. composure. I was trying Six to find a player just like well. him. Yeah, so he comes in. For some reason, my, my coaches don't rate him as high as what I do. But there we go. What do they know? £35 million. He's got 3-2 and two for me so far. He got 10 in La Liga last season. 12 in the season before that. In a club that I don't think should be scoring that many goals no. anyway. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Although, 35 million is a lot of money to spend on a player. I haven't changed it. Why would I? I've yeah. just won two back-to-back -back tiles and got the domestic treble. My best 11 doesn't put Strand Larsen into the side. Put Jabal in there. But again, we're playing too many games. I don't want to put Strand Larsen in and possibly have it cost me. Yeah. So, I'm going to risk not playing him every single game and just I must hope admit, that these two can do it. This is one of the things that I have learned playing this with you now. Because I was, I was nailing players in all the time when I was nailing my best player in and yeah. I was wondering why I kept on losing and I found that out. If you, if you nail a player in too much or too many players you, you start losing it, don't you? Yeah, so. absolutely because let of the, fitness worries. Let the assistant do what he wants to do he knows best. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Let's take a look at Dan's transfers though because he has another fantastic transfer window. You sold £12.25 million pounds worth of players. Yeah. That was because you went really big on a player and we had to keep delaying it because you didn't have enough money. <laughs> that was to buy Christian Jakic in, yeah. your, in your squad who is a CDM who can also play right back centre I was I was thinking again of, I know you like, keep looking at me saying why does he keep changing his tactics well I had to after the last two seasons yeah you definitely did so I had to change my tactics again and I thought right I know what I'm going to go for I tried it on my game at home and I won the league with it alright so this player fitted into that tactic as a squad player and he's good as well so I went for him and I got him in the end. 17.75, even though he only cost the club £3 million I know the that, season but... before. <laughs> but he started exceptionally yeah. well. Yeah. 7.28 average rating with, a, with an assist in four appearances. I think you were playing in right back as well because you got a very good midfield. Adding to that midfield is a freebie in I Cole Palmer. I couldn't. When we looked at the free transfers and he come up there, I just looked at you and went, I'll have him. Yeah. I don't, I don't care what it, what's he like. So we went on to it. I'm having him. You were I literally got, only uh, yeah. saying to me the other day how much you appreciate Cole Palmer. Yeah. I watched him play the fir the first Man City game. Yeah, the Community Shield. And he mate, come on. Match, yeah, it? and he come on and scored a, a, a great goal. And I thought well, he's a good player, a good squad player as well. But yeah. I got I got Hazard going out of the team now. He's, yeah, he's he old retired. Only. He retired. So I had to replace him. And what replacement that is? Two goals, two assists. Very high go. average rating in Here four appearances. The most games he has ever played in the league since <laughs> 2022. Pep, Gold you don't Palmer. know what you're missing, mate. Exactly. Thanks, thank you very much, mate. He's probably been <laughs> sacked because of it, isn't he? No, he's still there. All right, so Cole Palmer also came in, but he did spend a little bit of money bringing yeah. in two other centre midfielders in Gagliardini from Lazio. Well, 32, think, I, but he's I good. I think this is giving it away now. I'm, I'm really, really strengthening my midfield now. Yeah. And this, this guy does that for me. Yeah, 4.2 million pounds. Yeah. It's a very good sign in those mental attributes are phenomenal but he can also he's also even though he's 32 he's still got the well, pace and stamina and his work rate is 17 yeah team or 18 it's all there for a centre midfielder in it absolutely and you've also brought in Miguel Crespo dad yeah. now has a list of all these players that he <laughs> uh, appreciates <laughs> you might have seen or recognised a few of them from previous rebuilds because you asked me to type one in and I'll go 
That was from that rebuild, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably, yeah. But he's Probably also over the next preview rebuilds that we could do, I would be signing the same players. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's also done some of his own research now. Miguel Crespo was one of those players. Yeah. Very I mean, good signing. Another good one from his centre midfielder again. Strengthened it out. So Ten million pounds from Fenerbahce. I just, just had to have him out there, you know. It, it just makes my, my midfield so strong now. Speaking of that midfield, this is what your go, side look. looks like as the Fit best them two right in straight away, look. Yeah. So we've gone for a new three in midfield formation with two Mazalas and a box-to-box -box midfielder. Yeah. When we were going through the player roles, Dad said, what the hell is a Mazala? Uh, and I had to explain and show him. When I shown him, he said, that that fits my tactic perfectly. And I thought, okay. <laughs> okay. So, so. All, all three signings that I've done there, no, four signings are all in the team, though. Yeah, absolutely. So it's good. Good transfer that is your best 11 pick pretty much but we're not actually doing that are we we're, we're, we're running the simulation we're running it without any players selected so yeah. you've got players obviously where they need to be played but when you when you pick your your, your, your top pick and, the, and he puts in the players that you want to be in there why should you nail yeah, anybody yeah. in he's putting them there for you anyway yeah so absolutely let it go uh, let's take a look at your fixtures then because you've had to play some Champions League games Dundee Athletic 3-0 then you lost to AZ Alkmaar in the first leg but you smashed them 4-0 yes. in the second leg you then beat Club Bruges 8-0 in the first leg, Get which in. allowed you to play a fully... I think I changed nearly every player there yeah. except for two, I think You only lost 4-2 yeah. away. And other than that, you won every single game. You beat Aberdeen, you won the Scottish League Cup game against Motherwell 3-0. Then you beat them in the league 3-0 with Ivan so Tony I've getting won, a hat-trick. I won every league game without conceding a goal. You have. And Wraith, a 6-0 away win as well. Your Champions League fixtures, though, they're interesting because you have uh, Real Madrid... Salzburg, Dinamo, Porto. Oh. You've got a nice little spell there of then games Liverpool. that you could qualify for. Yeah. Uh, but then you've also got Liverpool and Leipzig in the last two games <laughs> of the season. So It's possible I could go for it. I think, I think you should be optimistic, yeah. especially with that start. I yeah. think you could be optimistic there. I'm and, definitely and a better side do. now. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look at my fixtures then, because that is my best 11 going into this. I won 8 nil in my first league game. Balogun got 5. Uh, Livingston 6-1 Dundee 3 nil in the League Cup 4-1 against Ross County 4 nil against St Mirren I am a bit worried now <laughs> uh, I've done very well at the start of the season I am just scoring a lot of goals uh, my Champions League fixtures looks like this Sporting and PSG I've got Inter Milan Benfica Barcelona Lazio Young Boys I've got a harder run I think yeah I, I, I won't be surprised yeah. if I'm eliminated from the Champions unfortunately, League unfortunately you have got a bad one there but none of us are going to get points from the Champions League anyway no 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 <laughs> so you might as well just get knocked out of it early. If I'm going to get knocked down, I can focus on yeah. maybe the, the, the Scottish FA Cup. I'll just yeah, focus definitely. on that. Fourth season. Remember, I'm currently just ahead of Dad on points, but it can all change in this season. Let's take a look. Season Good. number four. Same points as well. There must be goal difference. Same points. I'm back in it. Oh, Three points that you have won there. Good. We had the exact same results all Ooh. season. <gasps> One goal <laughs> different there. Five goals in goal difference. Your defence kept, well, four more goals out, which has obviously helped you win the league. I can't believe, though, we both lost six games. That's what makes it... You know, the yeah, first season, we only lost there. one game, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah. Who are those six oh, games? Oh, no, though? here we go. Here Who we are go. those six <laughs> games? You lost six. You did. Oh, no. I didn't lose against you in the league. Ooh, get in. There's only five losses there. You might have. Uh, I lost six. I lost against you three times. Get in. Oh, that's bad. 5-1, one, one of them. 5-1 away. Damn, Ooh. I lost at home as well. That's really bad. I even totally got 47. Get in. 47. 90 points. I can't believe that. Ryan Gold, 21 assists. Kelvin Yeboa, 33 goals. That's not looking good, is it? And my keeper got a clean sheet as that well. That is not looking good. We're on get Rangers. In. I'm back in it. I need some cup oh, come on, here, let's get the cups. Please. Let's get the cups. Oh, winner Who's of this? one. Is this yours or mine? This is mine. Oh, no. The winner of one, the runner-up of the other. The runner-up against... Please, Oh, no. Oh, one Get... That's a doubler. <laughs> There's another three points for Dad. But I did win two oh, points here. Did you beat me in the final? No. Oh. Did I knock you out? Please say I knocked you out. I did. Right, okay, that's it. So that wipes each other out, Yeah, that. definitely, yeah, for the cups. But then yeah. you get another three points for that win. So I wonder how many times you actually beat me. We've seen you lost three there against me well I, no so you beat me three times on mine here so i beat you in that cup there i did beat you once yeah in the in the premier in the premiership championship group which is the reason why i didn't show up on the losses yeah so that's another point thankfully 
in my favor. Round of 16 in the Champions League, eliminated again by RB Leipzig. The playoff round, I knocked out Monaco. I still can't see you. Oh no, this is that's, that's me. you. Yeah, I knocked out Monaco. Oh, hello. No, you got eliminated by Monaco. Oh, right. Oh, that means I qualified in the top eight. God. <laughs> you must have went through with Barcelona because Barcelona is, <laughs> right? Hello. <laughs> oh, no. Right, okay. I mean, it, it doesn't do anything for points because I got knocked out no. anyway, but it's just nice for yeah, bragging, right? Let's have a look then. Finish yeah, in eighth. Like, yeah. Finish in eighth. You finish, you, you're a very respectable 14th place, yeah. Dad. It was, it's no eighth place. Don't get me wrong. You, you know, you're not in the green portion of, <laughs> of up here where, you know, where, where the good teams are. But you still, you won three games. Three teams that you'd expect to win. Yeah. You drew three. That Salzburg Ooh, game could have cost you. Because at another two points, you yeah. wouldn't qualify. You'd have bumped me out of it. <laughs> uh, and you also lost against Leipzig and Liverpool. I had a hard fixture. Oh, just, just Barcelona coming over to Glasgow and knocking them out 3-1. <sighs> 5-0 against Sporting. Unbelievable stuff. Yeah. Two, I drew away to Inter Milan as well. The only two games I lost, PSG and Lazio. That's fair enough. Respectable. Yeah. Very respectable. Uh, okay, now we'll take a look at my goals tally. 48 for Kelvin Yeboa and 28 for Balogun. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's very good. Uh, so... The only thing I'm a little bit disappointed with is Larson. He only started 20 goals, 20 games. And I'm wondering, maybe I should have started him because he was the Keenan Davis. Yeah. He was a lot of money. Keenan Davis was the difference in the last two seasons where I've been winning the league. He doesn't play this season and I don't win the league. That could be the difference. Yeah. That could have been the difference. Yeah, so definitely. So, Jorgen Strand Larson, maybe I need to look at that next season. I've also been given £25 million. Oh. Okay, that's not bad. So, Celtic, competitions, playoff round. Semi-final by Rangers, but you didn't yeah. win the other one. So yeah. that's some points right there. 87! Get in. That's oh, the oh, most goals oh, I think I've oh, ever oh. seen from just one league campaign. That's absolutely in. incredible. I mean, you'd settle for the you'd settle for Lingos would be on 34, wouldn't you? The second boot. 87. How's he done that? Ivan Tony with 87 <laughs> goals just this season in well, 55 games, by the way. 87 goals, 55 games. That's why I won the league. That is, yeah. Yeah, because you scored so many goals. Yeah. Fair enough. Ivan Tony, what an absolute monster he is. Get in. Uh, I thought Keenan Davis was good. 14 million, though, for next season. Got a little bit more money than what you have, Dad. Yeah. I must admit. Didn't I, expect that. Well, but... To be honest, I don't know what I would change. <laughs> I know, that's the trouble now. Because we, we need that type of money to be able to buy in better players. Yeah. Because at the minute, like, we're not going to find those players. But who, who would I sell from that team? Well, oh, I just don't know. That's it. Let's look at the points then. So, Dad picked up nine points in total. I picked up four points in total. Which means that the current points, Omega Dad, 24. Omega Luke, 24. Oh, pulled it back. We go into the final game Ooh, of the season. Come on. Level on points. Come on. Level on points for that final game of the season. It's going to be an interesting transfer window then, isn't it? Oh, yes. <laughs> season number five, don't go anywhere. Right, as we said, this season was very difficult. Uh, Dad spent all of his transfer budget right at the start on Harry Suter. Well, what you didn't show there is I'd lost Gomez tonight. Yeah, what um, we didn't know at the end of the season yeah. was James Gomez went in October to Al Ali because of his minimum fee release clause. Yeah. So you lost your one of your centre backs. He was a starting centre back too. Yeah. Which we didn't know until we started doing pre-season. We we're like, where's your centre back gone? Yeah. So we had to bring in Harry Suter. Yeah. Good signing, to be fair. I think it was. I mean, he's six foot six, twenty eight. He's strong. His jumping reach is 20. Yeah. His strength, 15. So, you know, it added all there. So I think it was a good replacement. And it won a bad price, really, I thought. No. Which left you with some free transfers oh, as well. This is where I think I've done really good business again. Yeah. I mean, I was saying to you when I bought my transfer budget, where's my, where's the millions going that I was buying? But it was because I, I had to pay the wages for these guys, didn't I? And That's you, right. And you had explained it to me then. I went, well, you paid... You bought these freebies, but you had to pay the big wages for I was them. trying to explain to him, the pot of <laughs> transfer budget and wage budget, if you put it all on free transfers, the, the, the pot's yeah. still going to get smaller. It's still one pot. I was thinking I had 10 million to buy another player and I had nothing. So yeah. I, I struggled, but I was still happy with what I bought. I mean, Harvey RB Barnes, bought. free transfers, yeah, not definitely. bad at all, is it? I mean, look, he's a good squad player as well, but to have a squad player like that for free, yeah. I'd be silly not to tuck in him on. You needed a new left back. You found Terzic as that a free was, transfer. That was the one position I was worried about when I, yeah. when I seen you the next time I have after the, after the last season, I said to you, I'm, I'm, I need a left, a left back and I'm, I want to find a, sort of a, an half-decent one. 
I found one. So I was happy with this, but this is my signing. He finally got a Spurs player. Did this come is my from Spurs. signing. <laughs> you come from Newcastle, but hoi bier. You're all going to shout at me and say, he's 32. I know he's 32, but look at his natural fitness, 20. His stamina, 19. His strength, 15. His work rate, 18. Yeah. We're not going to get I've players of that quality in their prime, are no. we? I've just now put someone into my centre midfield position and he'll play every game. Yeah. And he's got it because of that. Yeah. I've got to win this season. Yeah, it all comes down to the this wire. This guy could do it for me. Unfortunately, Patreon members, we don't give a crap about you at the minute. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I am really After sorry about that. After five seasons, yeah. We love you again, and you can have hey, this got, save game file. Mate, they've got Aaron Tony to play with him. That's true. Yeah. He's 32. Oh, 31, he, he 32. He scored 87 goals That's last true. season. Page.com forward slash Megaloot Gaming. We all love you very much. Remember, yeah. you're helping to me to pay Dad a wage every single week to now be able to drop a day at work to join me. So thank you very much for that. The Patreon's gone up since that's happened as well. So yeah, we really do appreciate yeah. all of you new Patreon members who have you know, decided to help us out because of that. That means the world to us. So really do appreciate it. If we can get any further, Dad might be able to even drop even more days yeah. off. I mean, it's videos uh, like so this we that we, we're, we're planning on making more of. Because, because of it, that. Yeah, because of that. Because these do take us a long time to make, yeah. don't they? And now we have the time to do it. So yeah. thank you. And uh, here's your reward. These, these, amazing, these amazing videos like this hope you're enjoying it right over to rangers what have i done in this fifth and final season well i had one free transfer that i have now got the best player in the league oh. in anguisa that's an unbelievable signing that's incredible how much did you pay for him he was a freebie from oh. napoli <laughs> where's me pen i'm gonna write his name down oh he is <laughs> class obviously Napoli, for some reason, he didn't want to renew his contract. He only scored three goals last season. I know. He played the season before. and started 34 games last year how in Syria. How is he that good and only scored four goals in three seasons? Yeah. I don't <laughs> or know. Or I could go five goals, no, six goals in five seasons. He is only a midfielder, but he's just an unbelievable yeah, it, midfielder. Oh, so good. Right, Anguisa comes into the side. Also, I had about £30 million. I sold a couple of players. I didn't really know where to put it, so I bought Levi Colwell who I think is an incredible centre-back. Yeah. Left-sided too, which is just what I needed. Scouts don't rate him too high, but he has the potential. He's probably my best left centre-back now, or the best centre-back that I have. But as soon as I bought him, which seems to happen every single summer, he breaks his toe. And he's been out for the last seven weeks, so he's yet to play a game for me. Shame. Thirty-one million pounds worth of player. Ah, uh, so that's that's my lineup. Now, tactically, I'm going with the same, but I'm making the very bold, Ooh. bold move of putting Strand Larson up front every single game. Right. I feel I like that Keenan Davis you. role might have cost me last time. I don't blame you, but you beat me in that last yeah. that last uh, that last season. So I need it. I need it here because especially if I go pick the best without restriction, Yaboa goes in there as a target forward. Well, it was yes, he's six one. one as well, wasn't it? So. Yeah, but he's not as good as uh, a Strand Larson in the air. Balogun's yeah. very good. Yaboa and those two can just you know deal with it up front themselves. Busio and Guisa. Fagioli, great midfield. You got a hell of a midfield, didn't you? Yeah, I just need Colwell to and St. Jago to, to kind of like, you know, to, to bond together, have great times, and we should be absolutely golden. Now, Dad's team, let's take a look before we look at the fixtures. Go on with the same formation. No players in. He shouldn't obviously change it this time round because he won the league last year. Best 11 looks like this. You've got an there unbelievable midfield. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, midfield and strike force. Yeah, Cole Palmer on the right, Marcus Leonardo and Ivan yeah. Tony up front. I'm pleased. I'm happy with that. The only thing I was really worried about, and I, 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 I was trying to buy another player when or get another player in, was the age of my centre-backs. Yes, yeah. Rob Holden is like, what, 31, 32 now, yeah. 31. I know, it, I know it's not. If they keep their fitness, so this guy's 29, so if they keep their fitness, this, they're still all right. Yeah, so, but there we go. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Me yeah. too. This is going to go right down I to the I think I've strengthened it, so I'm happy with that. So, schedule-wise, let's take a look at you first. 4-0. Oh, no, mm. I've lost to you already. 3-2. <laughs> to oh, 94th minute from Ryan Gold. And you were 2-0 up. Oh, no, you were. You were 1-0 up. An own goal. Strand Larson. Very good. Good yeah. idea to put him in, Luke. Then Ngisa <laughs> scored in the 32nd minute. Marcus Leonardo got a goal back to make it 2-1 in the 33rd minute. A minute later, it was 2 all in the 40th minute and I scored in the 94th. Mate, you had a player sent off before I had a player sent off. Yeah. So I should have went on and won that game. Very I've tricky game. game. That you one. beat me 
Oh, an extra time again, too. You did, though, beat Hearts 4 0. You beat Falkirk 3 1 and St. Mirren 2 0. Your Champions League fixtures look like this PSV and Ajax, Inter and Dortmund, Bayern Munich and Manchester United oh, at the end. Must be out there. Very difficult. So remember, the points tally means I go one above that already now because of that league fixture win. Yeah. My schedule, though, looks like this. I have dropped points oh. in the league as well. Yeah, you haven't lost, though. I haven't lost, no. Uh, I had to qualify through the Champions League, which I did. I beat Sturm in the two games, 3-0, 4-0. I also beat AZ Alkmaar after drawing with him in the first leg away from home. So I also go into the Champions League. I've beaten Hibs, 2-0. St. Mirren, 3-0 in the League Cup. But I drew to St. Johnston, and that's really unfortunate, to be fair. They yeah. were also down to 10 men at home. That's a bad result for me, uh, which means neither of us. Oh, actually, you are top, even though I've played a game less. That's the reason why. I've played a game less, but yeah. you are top. My Champions League fixtures look like this. I have Leon, Arsenal, Bayern, Manchester City, Ajax and Club Bruges. I don't mind that too much. That's three tricky games, a couple of ones that I might be able to win, and two that I should mm. definitely win. It's hard, mate. It's hard, isn't it? Yeah, it's very difficult to, to comprehend at this point. I mean, you, like we always say, you've got to try and win your own games, but you've got Man City at home. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we'll see. Right, fifth and final season, Dad. Best of luck. I'm one point above now because of that league yeah. win, but it can all change. Fifth and final season. Come on. Let's see how we do. Final season. <gasps> Get oh, yes. no. Two Get points. In. Drew a game more than you. That's very Ooh. annoying. <sighs> it's a high amount, isn't it? You've got just a, just a little bit better goal difference too. You lost four games. <sighs> lost two. two that's, that's... of them. There's two of them. Well, that's only one more game that we, we yeah, already that's knew true. about. Yeah, Green, we already it? knew one. Yeah. I lost four. And one I'll was against you. Right. So Ooh. one of them might so have been in the, this. I've won the league and I've beaten you. Yeah. One of the, there might be more in that championship group as well because yeah. obviously you're missing a loss there. That could have been against me. I'm not missing a loss, so that wasn't against you. So there could be another one that you've lost as well. Uh, you are champions though. Yes. Fair play. That's another three points. Oh, come on. So three points plus another win there. Four points. Cancel that out because I've also won two there. So you are a little bit ahead of me right now. So I've won the league three times. Yes. And you won the league twice. Yeah. Ivan Tony got 54 goals. If you win this, it's because of Ivan Tony, to be yeah, fair. 100%. Balogun got 22. Strand Larson only got 18. Oh, that's disappointing. Ooh. Balogun got a 7.6 so got average, average rating, rating is the best as well. Yeah. And my sister's a Celtic player. Cole Palmer and Haksabanovic. Right, okay, let's take a look then. We'll have a look at yours first. Competitions. No oh, cups. Oh, no. Quarterfinals by Aberdeen. Beat me twice. Oh, that's the, annoying. The only good thing is that I didn't lose to you in both times. Yeah, you might have knocked me out of one. Oh, no. I could have done with winning a cup. Okay, League Cup. Yes! 4 1. I won in that final. Right, I don't want to spoil it now. I want to have a look. Did I win the other one? Let's take a look. Oh, runners up. <gasps> Dad! What? What? Champions League final. No way. Wait, well, still yet to be played. Oh, no. The Champions League final. That could be it. Still yet to be played. We need to work out the points. If you win the Champions League final, you could beat me. It's got to be close, mate. I mean, I've won Hint. the league and I... That cup could have cost me. Right. This is close. Let's work out this the points. This is really close. And then we'll get back to you. <laughs> so... In the championship group, which doesn't show up on that profile page, there was another win for Rangers. 3-2 at Celtic Park, which if you take a look at the actual league title and go on to stages, does not show up because there it says an away 2-3 loss yeah. at Rangers. So that is where the other loss is, which means the points is Dad, 4, Omega Luke, 5. Which means the total points without the Champions League final is Omega Dad 28, Omega Luke 29. That last game cost me. One point. And I was at home. One point. Because if I had beaten you, you'd have won. Yeah. Without the Champions League final. Yeah. And I'm at home. But of course, we've got a Champions League final. We have to watch that Champions League final. Oh, we got him, mate. I mean, congratulations to you. What a squad that you had. You beat me, you beat me. So I'm on your side now. Yeah. I'm a Rangers I'm a Rangers man now. We gotta win this final. For Scotland. We gotta win this final. Yeah, absolutely. PSG. I mean what you have built a good squad, so what an achievement this would be. Because neither of us thought we'd even be in any of these competitions. We thought the Champions League <laughs> would be way out of the picture. So well, come on. Let's see if we can do it.
Okay, so the squad going into the Champions League final. I do have some injuries, oh, unfortunately. No, no. And Gisa is kind of injured. Also, Busio needs a bit of a rest. My left back is injured. Also, the striker that I put in every single time, rest. So that's what happens, right? That's what happens. Yeah. But before we take a look at the actual final, let's see how I got there. We haven't looked at that yet. The league phase, I finished in third. Only lost one game, which was against Bayern Munich. Drew it home to Manchester City and I won Ooh. six. Well done. You unfortunately finished in again. 25th place yeah. means you didn't get the qualification through to the playoffs. That was only by goal difference too. Yeah. Uh, so I automatically went into the round of 16 where I knocked out Lyon, 6-1. In the quarterfinals, I knocked out Liverpool, 6-1. 6-1 six, on on aggregate, yeah. Semi-final, I eliminated Monaco, who did exceptionally well to get to the final as well, to be fair. But it's me versus PSG in the final. So, here we go. Hang on a minute. What? Let's have a look at their squad. They've still got Mbappe. Who else have they got? Kevin, Musiala. Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne. <laughs> Martin Erdegaard, who is actually injured. Think over that. Thankfully. Yeah, Ugate, of course, who's still there. Hakimi, Donnarumma. I mean, their bench is disgusting. They got Rodrigo as well. So, yeah, that's oh, oh, God. that's annoying. Caduceus, he's really good. Fantastic. The guy from Ajax, he's incredible as a bench player. Vitinha, who is there, obviously. N'Golo Kante is still there at age 37. That's disgusting. That's not very <laughs> nice, is it? The reserve player is Rasmus Hoyland, reserve striker. So, I'm there we're in the final. Yes. We're going to do them. Let's see what Come we on. can do. Come on. Right, the Champions League final. That's the lineups. What are they going with? What are they going to... Because obviously we've seen what their team was. Mbappe, Musiala, De Bruyne, Kante oh, plays. Kante. Torres That'd on the ready, right. Yeah, I'm quite surprised at that, to be fair. they got Chuck Woozy on the bench as well. We didn't mention him. He's very good. The ball is being taken. I am nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I am Champions as well. Champions League final with Rangers. This is, just, <laughs> this is outrageous. Where was it being played? I didn't even see where it was being played. Oh, that, could, that could be a, a whole different scenario here. I don't really know. We're just going to have to go straight into it. And find out. Oh, I almost like don't want highlights, but yeah. I think I have hey, the ball here. It's all right. Twelve minutes. Busio, Maitland Niles. Come on. Oh, oh no, he's no, lost no. it. This is what I was worried about. Can we could oh, win it back. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> so, oh no. damn it! We're losing the ball in their 18-yard oh, box, no. and we're going. Oh no! Ferran Torres, there's a run as well. Maitland Niles, do something, please. Oh, come on, get in there. Oh, oh no, he's through. No way. Oh, it's the route one pass from Kevin De Bruyne. He's just too quick. Oh, that could be offside. VAR. Come on. Check in VAR. Come on. Go. Oh, oh. never mind. VAR is very a, much. This is out of a ball, the word. Yeah, first that's... touch in it. It's pace as well. His, his first touch there to bring up ball over it. What a pass from Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah. Route one down the middle. I think with his pace, it just makes it look so much different, doesn't it? That's the trouble. He's just yeah. so fast. Dad, I've just realised the game is being played at Old Trafford. Is it? It's Old Trafford. At Old Trafford. It's 0-0. It's 1-0. So I wish it was 0-0 at yeah. half time. It's 1-0 PSG at half time. I've had one shot. Uh, they've had four. It's Ooh. still quite tight, to be honest. Oh, man, I, I, we're doing better than we, than I we thought. thought we were going to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just got to pray Do you like hope. how I changed it to we're doing better? Yeah, we are. <laughs> all you, this was, Dad. All of you. Okay, another highlight. Again, Come on, let's get a go. Ball. Let's get an early go. Come Ethan on. Led. He grew up at Old Trafford. He should love this place. Fagioli. Oh, fair enough. Ooh. Fair enough. Having a shot from 30 yards. He's yeah. seen Messi do that last yeah. weekend. Oh, that was a good one. Unbelievable, uh, yeah. if you haven't seen. Can we do something? I might need to make a change in a minute because I, I I might actually stick on Larson and go a little bit. Uh oh. Oh, no. Corner corner Kevin De Bruyne to take it as well come on let's keep it out keep it as out we can, uh, Musiala oh. makes it too Jamal Musiala who I think is about 5 foot 2 yeah uh, it's just one ahead actually he's a lot taller than that I think he's way taller than that but still not really somebody that I would expect to win a header and he's done it against 3 of my players not one of them jumped not one of them. That's really disappointing. Time to make some changes. They've just plunked Musiala up top. How tall is he? He is six foot. Okay, he's an incredible player too. Let's make some changes though. I'm, I'm not happy with that. I'm going to go Strand Larson up top for Kelvin Yeboah. And Gisa is really struggling. So I'm going to have to bring him off. We'll bring on Ryan Gold. Busio's going to have to stick on, stay on for a little bit longer. I might need to change into a a more uh, of an attacking. We'll go more, a little bit more attacking. I don't want to change the formation too much. It's got us to the final. 
Right, it's their throw in this time round. That's all we've had. Here we go. Clear it. Balogun for the win. No. Nope. nope. Kimbembe. <laughs> Never mind. Marquinhos oh. to Akimi. To Rodrigo. Oh, well, but he well, lost well, it straight well, away. Right. Come on in. Levi Corwell. My record signing. No one up there. No one up there. Nobody is up Keep there. Going. But he's just going to run all oh. the way himself. And oh, pass well, it. That's all that's the way back. Have a ball. To Baxter. Oh, my God. <laughs> Rodrigo's through. And he puts it wide. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm going to go with three up top. I haven't got any other strikers, so I'm going to have to bring Alan Campbell on. I'm going to do that. And Ryan Gold, maybe, up top. And we're just going to go a little bit more direct and just pump the ball up there, I guess. We've just got to go for it, unfortunately. 90th minute, four minutes to be added on. It's not looking good. And unfortunately, Dad, Rangers are just the runners up of the Champions League this year. Mate, hell of an achievement though. Yeah, I mean, getting to the final is incredible. Yeah, hell of an achievement. But there we go. Thank you very much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this one. Dad, unfortunately lost by one point this time round, which means we've got a trophy. You guys asked for it. Great season, mate. Well done. Icing on the cake with the Champions League. <laughs> I didn't want to give it to you. Rangers. <laughs> Let's go. Until next time, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.